Hi everyone, it's Killshot from 99 Gaming, and this is The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 1, Negan Kill Effect, What's Next? So as the dust is literally settling here, the question that I would ask all of you, is this the ending or is this the rebuilding? Is this a brand new beginning? So in this episode, we're going to discuss the deaths of Glenn and Abraham and the impact on each character. We're also going to talk about what potentially could be next. And as a special announcement, we will be doing a live stream with some chat slash therapy for those people who just need to vent a little bit more. That's going to be coming up in a couple hours. So let's get right to it and talk about Abraham's death. I will not post the gruesome images, but I will get close to it. Here's Abraham after the first shot to the head. Of course, he said, suck my nuts. That is, I've been hashtag everywhere. But to me, Abraham was the real champ. I mentioned in previous videos, he looked up, he didn't fight back. He was ready to accept the fate for the entire group. So the impact obviously is going to be on Sasha. We saw the peace sign from Abraham to Sasha. But in the aftermath of everything, Sasha has finally started to develop a new purpose. So she was mourning briefly, but then when she saw the, the aching and everything that Maggie was going through, she immediately became the protector. So she jumped up and said, I will protect her. I'll get her to Hilltop. Leave your thoughts below. Rosita's impact after Abraham's death. Rosita's finally going to emotionally let go. She was going through this hardship of the broken relationship, and now the ending is final. In the background, we have Eugene. Eugene may be hit the hardest. He is continually mourning over both of these deaths, and you can see he can do nothing but just cover his eyes and try to accept it. We also saw the potential for a new bond between Sasha and Rosita, where Sasha said, I'm going to take him with me. Rosita acknowledged. So there could be a partnership with the two of them in the future. And then finally, Eugene musters up a little bit of, of energy to say his final goodbye to Abraham. They're picking him up. Now remember, he's going to Hilltop. Eugene will go to Alexandria. So moving forward, the death of Glenn was grisly and gruesome. I'm not going to show you that either, but uh, how quickly things changed. One second, Glenn was looking over. He was kind of nodding, and then Negan just out of the blue uh, made him the second victim. So with that happening, we actually, uh, it, it was dreadful. So we went through just some severe emotions with everyone. This, without a doubt, was the worst moment of Maggie's life. I mean, Maggie saw Herschel decapitated. She saw uh, Beth's body being carried out, but you could see the look on her face. Uh, no, no doubt that uh, it's going to take her a while to get over that. And then Daryl, the guilt. Um, a lot of things we're going to talk about a little bit later on with uh, Daryl and Maggie. But uh, Daryl's guilt, just you could see it in his face. Eugene, once again, just that picture, he has to cover his eyes, and it happened multiple times. And this scene is just going to go down in history. I mean, this is just, he was almost drunk with the excitement of, of how excited he was to, to beat Glenn down there at the end. And this image, the group there will never forget what they saw here. But that poses the next question. What about the people that were not there that didn't witness it? How will that be portrayed? Will they really feel the evil that uh, Negan brought in those uh, last moments? So, so we know Heath was there during the raid on the compound, so he was involved in it. But being isolated from the group, maybe something will happen to Heath along the way. But if he gets back in tune with the group, will he have some vengeance to take out on Negan? We've also seen Tara all over the place in these trailers and these promos going through the woods hunting. I'm very interested in her story, so if you guys have any insight, any details, leave that below. Carol and Morgan. Carol has kind of went off the deep end, but Carol has been with this group for a long time. Maybe not as much of a bond with Abraham, but definitely there's some interaction with Glenn. It's a good thing it wasn't Daryl, but finding out Daryl's going to be locked up uh, could give Carol a brand new reason to fight. So there's a segue into the next story. We'll talk about several plots, and I'd love to see your comments below. Question number one, can Jesus mend the loss of Glenn and Abraham? There's a lot of fans out there, a lot of us just in mourning. Um, Abraham was my favorite. Probably Glenn was more popular to other people, but can Jesus start to bridge that gap? Maggie, we've seen Maggie at her worst moment in life, but will Maggie be able to rebuild? Will she kill Gregory? That's the question I'd like to know. But ultimately, she is destined to take over Hilltop. Love to see how that plays out. Honey, a.k.a. Sherry, uh, also, was she convinced Dwight to betray Negan? Here is Dwight with a regular face. Remember, he got burned on the side of the face. So uh, Sherry may have a strong influence on Dwight going forward. And then a real interesting plot. Does Dwight really want Daryl dead? Dwight has had multiple opportunities to kill Daryl. But he seems to always just keep him hanging little by little. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Could there be a partnership? This is Maggie as Daryl was being taken away. A lot of people said Maggie will hate Daryl and resent him. But when they were putting him in the back of the truck, she was crying uh, relentlessly. And also she went on to say, I'm the reason you all were here. Carl, a lot of people are saying Carl is too old to play his role. This is Carl all grown up. 
Whereas before, Carl used to look for the support of people. Here is Carl actually giving out the hug, supporting. And many people want to know, where's Judith? Look on the left side. There is baby Judith growing up right beside Carol, and that's Carl over in the background. I think baby Judith might actually have on Carl's hat, just in case you guys were wondering about that. This guy needs to die. This is my least favorite person in the history of the television show. Please, hashtag kill Polaroid guy, because this guy just annoyed me to no end. I hate this guy actually worse than Negan. So let me know your thoughts on the Polaroid guy taking the picture there, celebrating the death of Glenn. And the group will be going their separate ways. We know Maggie's going up to Hilltop. Rick will go back to Alexandria, where he tells his people, Negan is in charge now. And then there was Michonne. Michonne was not broken. She is a person of very few words, but the words were impactful, where she said, we get it. I think Negan might take notice that she was the strength when everyone else was weak. Could be a problem for Negan later on. Let me know what you think. And Rick, obviously, we saw Maggie's lowest point. We also saw Rick's lowest point ever on the TV show. He was absolutely destroyed. Uh, will Rick be able to rebuild? And I think the very next scene, when Rick was driving away, we actually saw it in his eyes. Remember, it was Negan that said, Dawn is a break and it's a brand new day. So I do think that Rick is finally going to start to get it back together. He will come up with a plan, trust me. And Rick is finally going to be that badass that mentioned several times before. I thought Rick was way too complacent, and I'm finally looking forward to seeing Rick become vengeful and spiteful and have a purpose. And I know somewhere along the season, we're going to see that old Rick Grimes kick in all over again. But hopefully this time with a little bit more confidence, but a little less arrogance to sort of keep him in check. Let me know. With lots of questions posed in this video. Love to hear your comments, your thoughts. And once again, we'll have a live stream in a couple hours. I'd uh, love for all you guys to show up and uh, just have some great interactions. I'll be reading your comments live. Thanks again. My name is Killshot. Peace.